welcome to my channel. So today I am filming my November, yeah, my November favorites. Um, I have been missing an action from YouTube for a couple of weeks. I did put up a video last week, so that's great. But I was missing for a while and I'm just going to go ahead and say that's because I am taking a full schedule right now. I'm in my senior year of college and I've had in the past three weeks over 100 pages worth of papers due. So I have been extremely busy. So yeah, let's go ahead and get right into this video then. So I have all of my favorites in this Starbucks box, which housed, oops, this way, which has those two cups back there, which are two of my favorites this month for sure. My boyfriend bought those for me and they're really, really, really cute. So that's my first two favorite things for this month. And then we can just go ahead and get right into the makeup portion. Let's start off with ColourPop products. So this is my first favorite. It is a highlighter by Color, Color I want to say ColourPop or ColourPop because there's a U. It's just ColourPop, sorry. Anyways, this is their highlighter and it is their Super Shock Cheek Pearlized in the Color Wisp. This is the Color Wisp. It's pretty much gorgeous. It's just a champagne gold. It shows up a lot more gold in camera, but when you see it in person, I would definitely say there's like a champagne tone to it. Definitely, yeah. Um, it has the same texture like ColourPop shadows do and it is gorgeous. Look at that. Okay, it's so hard to see on my skin tone golden things because my skin tone's kind of gold. But here it is on my finger as well. Like, can you even? Like right now, let's, oh, I'm saying like a lot. Anyways, right now, let's be honest, everybody is super into highlight and I have <sighs> succumbed to this. I love highlighters and this is no exception. And it's only, six bucks if I'm not mistaken maybe it's no more than eight bucks no less than five either way it's worth it um super affordable and super pigmented and yeah I like it a lot okay so the next color pop product I have are two of their matte lipsticks one is a little dirty but yes so these are in the color Trap and LAX, I believe, and I am actually wearing LAX right now. So it looks pretty like red right here, but this is what it comes off on my lips. So it's super deep. It's deep. It's a really dark color, but I really love it. And Trap is like a cool tones purplish gray color. Yeah, I suck at explaining things, but you get the point. So Trap. I can only wear this if I'm wearing like cool tones or else it looks just ridiculous, like I'll be honest. Oh no, what is happening to my, something is happening to it, it like is dripping. Oh well. Anyways, so this is what Trap looks like and yes there is a swatch on my thumb. I don't know why, I really don't know why. Anyways, it's a really cool toned purple color. It's gorgeous, I can only wear it certain occasions but I do really like it. And then LAX, I don't really think I need to swatch it because it is on my lips right now. And I really like it. I was a little intimidated at first, but it's it's a gorgeous color. It's a gorgeous color. Yeah. But it is a little hard to apply to get it like even. Let's put a couple coats on, which sucks because it's a little patchy. I'll be honest with that. But I mean, they're $6, so I'll work with it. I'll work with it. Okay, so... Another lip product, I've been really super into lips, which is strange, but you know. Okay, so this is Whirl by MAC, yes, the famous Kylie Jenner color, and they came up with a lipstick a while back, and I've had this for a couple of months, but I haven't filmed a favorites video, but it has definitely been a favorite since probably September. That is what it looks like. It's just warmer and just gorgeous. It's the Kylie Jenner lip color, literally. So <laughs> if you like that, and it's a huge turn right now, and I really like the way it looks on my skin tone. I was a little worried I wouldn't like it, but I actually love it. So yes, I would recommend this. Okay, so the last lip product, I swear, is actually this NYC liner. Um, it's a lip liner, and I'm not sure the color. No, it's rubbed off. It looks like 335 is the number, but the color name has rubbed off. I'm sorry. I got it from Walmart though, and it was literally like $2 or under. 
and this is what it looks like so you can see it it's actually not that far off from whirl and another color that it's super similar to is lolita by kat von d um i was actually wearing this all over my lips because i couldn't find lolita and then I found Lolita and I put it on just my bottom lips and I asked my boyfriend and all my friends if they could see a difference and they couldn't. So yeah, you can save a lot of money by switching to a $2 lip liner. But it's actually really good quality and it stays on pretty long for being so cheap. So yeah, that's the last lip product I swear. Moving on. Okay, so my next favorite is the Step One Mattifying Primer by Makeup Forever. My friend actually gave me this because she didn't like it and I was going to order it anyways, so she said save your money, thank goodness, and yeah, I really, really like this. It's, I don't know why I'm going to put a sample of it, but I mean, it's whatever. It's just that little dot there. Um, I really like it though. It just rubs into my skin and I really feel like it makes a difference and the only other primer I've ever loved is the Hourglass Mineral Veil Primer so finding another primer that I really like is fantastic. Okay so let's go ahead and keep going. My next favorite is an eye product and it is the Stila Stay All Day Waterproof Liquid Eyeliner. <sighs> Well, I don't know why you'd have to go watch my video because that's a swatch of it right there and it has been washed off in this video. So it stays and it's waterproof and it's soap proof apparently too. So yeah, I'm wearing it right now and I love it. I don't know what else I can say. That's why it's in my favorites video, I guess, because I'm really digging it. Okay, so the next product is also another eye product. It's a sample size though that I got from Lancome and I have had the full size but it was like three years ago and I forgot how much I loved it. But it is like their priming base I guess. It's called Sils Booster XL. Probably saying that wrong. Don't know how to pronounce most of their names but that's it right there. I love it. I there's a lot of primers that I've tried for like eyelashes because I've got some weak natural lashes and they just don't work but something about this it works for my lashes and I love it so much so if you need a primer and you feel like it helps your lashes try this one for sure try this one okay so the last two favorites are going to be face products and this is my first one this is an oldie but a goodie and I thought I had to mention it because I've been using it for at least two years. It's my ride or die concealer that's not high end and I just love it. It's the Maybelline Fit Me the concealer and mine I always get in 20 sand. It just this concealer. I don't know what it is but it just works so well for me. I love it. I love it. So a good drugstore concealer is definitely this, or really any from the Maybelline range. I like quite a few Maybelline concealers, so try them. Try them. Okay, last but not least, I don't have the lid to this product because, I don't know, I got a faulty product, I guess, and it makes my product go everywhere. So no lid, and it's dirty, but it is the NARS All Day Luminous Foundation, and mine is in the color Medium for Barcelona. I'll be honest, when I first got this foundation, probably at the beginning of this year, it was only a couple months after it came out, I hated it. I hated this foundation so much, I regretted spending, what, $48 on it? I hated this foundation. Tried to love it, I swear I tried to love it. I tried it with a brush, with a beauty blender, wet, dry, everything. Hated it. And then a couple weeks ago I was running late and this is the one I grabbed out of my foundation drawer and I've been using it for three weeks straight. I think I hated it at first because it said luminous and that's what I was expecting and don't be fooled by the name. It's pretty matte. It is pretty, pretty matte. You want a luminous, a legit luminous foundation. This is not the foundation for you, but if you want something that's full of coverage. Well, I would say it's pretty full coverage. It's like, it's very liquidy. Um, let's see if I can get a... You see that? It's just like a legit drop. Um, it's a pretty liquidy foundation. 
Full of pigment though, you need like two drops to cover your whole face. It's, it's pretty amazing. But I've actually been using this with a beauty sponge dry. I don't like it with a wet beauty sponge, but with a dry one, this is my rider down. Sometimes you just gotta go back and you gotta try it again. So, yeah. Almost forgot my most favorite, most favorite of this entire month. It is an eye palette. It's not the Lorac Mega Pro 2. It's the Morphe 35O. Oh my goodness. This palette though, this palette though, get this palette though. I love a lot of palettes, but this palette, if I'm not going to make one myself, this would be the palette that I would go for, for sure. The warms, the, the browns, the sparkles, the golds, the... <sighs> Let me just swatch a couple for you. I'm sure you've seen a bunch of this, and I'm going to do a holiday tutorial or two featuring this because I love it so much, but I'm just going to go ahead and swatch a couple colors before I end this video. So look at those. Could you die? Could you die? Like, what the heck? What the heck? You can't even from those swatches get the full effect of the beauty of these eyeshadows. <sighs> Just, yeah, this is the one I mixed. Whoops. Oh well. I can't. Whoops, just got on my pants. No big deal. Okay, let me stop talking about the 35 O. but honestly, if you need a good palette or you want to get someone who loves makeup, anything for Christmas, if that comes back in stock, get it. Get it. They will love you forever. Get it. Okay. And it's so affordable. All right. I'm done. I swear. Okay. So that is the end of this video. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a great day and please subscribe. Bye.